Booyah. Booyah. Look at that. <laughs> the fabrication series. <laughs> I've been taught by the greatest. Uh, twinsies. <laughs> Get low when the whistle go. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, and I just landed in Minneapolis Airport. I'm headed to Las Vegas, Nevada, because I'm visiting a company called TFS. And I should be landing there about 10 o'clock uh, Vegas time. Got some cool things going on the next three days. Stay tuned. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Look, you can see the strip in the back right now. I actually made it to TFS. You're probably all wondering what TFS is. And I'm gonna walk you through the shop here at TFS. And you're probably gonna see some similar stuff. And look what we have here. Who's this guy? Hey. You guys know this guy. What's up? What's up, man? What are you welding on? Uh, we're gonna do some walk in the cup. Some walk in the cup. We're gonna put some uh, quick little coupons together. He's gonna have to teach me a few things because I'm a little rusty on walk in the cup. I, have my gloves on, I just tried it a couple days ago and I was a little rusty. It's all about the motion in the ocean. Yeah, I mean you can sit here and kind of run this maneuver or whatever, but we don't have a flex head torch, so mm -hmm. it's not gonna it's not gonna make it very easy. We're gonna get bound up. So flip it over. That's actually a good way. Yeah. And then you just realize you're just barely touching it. It's all in the motion. It's all in the motion. In the, motion. the minute you you forget about it. <laughs> Be one with the just, torch. You just forget about yeah. it, and yeah. you realize that thing just keeps on walking. Yeah. It just keeps on going up. Just the motion. Don't if fool you, you. If you try, yeah. If you try, if you sit here, if I really focus on this, and I'm just like, one potato, two potato, three potato, and that's not working. It's actually it's getting bound right there. Can't make it happen. But he makes it sound easier than it really is. I've tried this all week. Just little motions. That's all it is. Just a little bit. <laughs> just little motions. It is. And you just, if you watch it and expect it to do it, it's gonna do it. But if okay. you watch it trying to make it do it, it's not gonna do it. It's, it's the weirdest thing. Word of the wise. Yeah. All right, let's see him roll with it. So. Are you dabbing your rod or are you just leaving it in there? Constant pressure. It's just mowing it over. The tricky part the tricky part is finding the right angle where it doesn't melt back. Yeah. There's a couple times it did, but constant pressure, just a little bit. Hmm. Keep it fed into that puddle. Just move it back and forth, it'll eventually walk its way out. Try a dry run first. So hold it, hold it back here on the handle. All right. That's all. It's all in your fingers. Your your wrist movement. Now you got to grip it like a bird. Uh huh. Without killing it. Right, you so don't want it to fly so away. So it's like a golf swing. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you don't want it to fly away, but you don't want to crush it. Okay. So it's light, and it's all just in the movement. You realize it just out of nowhere. It's, it's just going to hit you. Like it's just going to go like that. Or yeah. ice. Now, if you try, it's not going to go. But if you just let it work the motions, right. it'll go. Here we go. Take one. Yeah, super hot, you're moving a little slow, but you know what, That's that'll do. Well, now, I'm trying to focus on so many things, so yeah. I'm sitting there trying not to crush the birdie right. as one. Exactly. And then I'm trying to maintain my pedal, it's difficult. which I'm not maintaining my pedal. All right, down to oh, floor that thing. It's mowing over my well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> my tungsten is about the size of my rod. Yeah, we'll quit dabbing it and just let it uh, just lay it in there. Oh, I'm losing it. Uh oh. No. I'm having a thought. Watch that, even though you're doing it. Watch it like you're watching a video. Watch it like I'm watching a video. Yeah, because you're actually just watching it walk its way up. <laughs> yeah. You're not in control of it, you're just watching it walk just its way watch up. It like just watch it walk its way up. 
come to a sudden realization we might not get out of here tonight. How long have we been in here? A few hours? All day? I got it now. Light. It's moving. <laughs> it might not be the best looking weld, but it's moving. Yeah. But you got motion on that one. Yeah. Yeah, so now the rest is practice. Exactly. Just do that a thousand times and you're good. A thousand times. That's all you need. And over and over. Yeah. How many uh, tungsten guys do you think that would be? Uh, yeah, a few hundred at least. Yeah. Cool. You got it. I learned something today. Yeah. Like a pro now. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. On the hunt for your next weld. Dime stack. Do you see the beast? You gotta check this out right here. Have you got him in your sights? Hmm? All right. Oh, look at that. Yeah. All right. All right. Weld, weld three. Yeah. But that, I covered something up, so that doesn't count. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and then this is. Well, four. Legit. Legit. Too legit to quit. Yeah. Go show them how it's done now. Right. Like a sir. Like a boss. Rick Ross. <laughs> you don't mean like Rick Astley? <laughs> Never gonna give you up. <laughs> Here's your Rick Ross, bro. You should pause it now. Oh, that's hilarious. Who could say they got Rick rolled while they were welding? I don't even know how you have this, so like on Insta. Look at this, even has the video going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you do the dance? No, I can't. You just, you literally just gotta go. <laughs> I can tell you. What is up everybody? It is day two in sunny Las Vegas and you can see the Palms Hotel right there and I'm going into DJB Gas Services Inc. as like a little cold call. Um, let's see what they got in here. Let's see what kind of machines they sell, what kind of wire and stuff they supply. Let's check this place out. Looks like they stock quite a bit of wire. We got some select arcs there. Got some good flux wire and metal core wire. Some Alcotac aluminum. Uh, yeah, so it looks like they stock quite a bit of different stuff. They got like all your MIG tips. Plasma cutting tips, you can see they got a slew of hypertherm stuff. PPE gear. All right, let's go talk to this guy. I made a mistake and didn't ship the coupons in time. They're not gonna be here till like Monday. You know what the problem is, is now we have to buy some steel and aluminum. So he's giving me this grand entrance right now. Like, but check out all this stuff here. We got some tubing, square stock, diamond plate, the works. Two hours later. Alright, watch your eyes. Go for it. I'm not gonna use filler. I just wanna see what it looks like. You know the weird part about it? Is you really don't even have to do like a lift arc. It's like it lights itself. It's yeah, you get it super close it'll actually jump. Alright, here we go. Good. Check this out. Check that out. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude that, wow. is, that is awesome. <laughs> and that's from a MIG gun with a tungsten in it. <laughs> wow. Uh. Booyah. Yo, yo, yo. I landed in Michigan. My week is over. Pretty much over. Uh, it's Saturday.
Saturday. It's about 8 o'clock p.m. And uh, I've been everywhere this week, it seems like. I was in Tulsa for four days. I was in Nevada for three days. Well, I'm finally home. Next week, Minnesota, Indiana. It was a long week, but a fun week. It was a blast. I'm calling it good, but before I call it good, make sure you smash that like button, the share button, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Have a good one. Adios. Yes. <laughs>